Yes, Claire, they're, they're family from um, also Castle Bar in County Mayo, the family of 10. Uh, they were all homeschooled by their mother, whom all referred to there, um, who also, I understand, had a sort of a school there that may have included some from outside the family who were homeschooled there. But they all went on, they were highly educated at a third level as well, and a number of them attended Univer- or NUI Galway, as it's now called, and that forum was where some of them came to prominence. In the first instance, they had a very early legal victory, or not they specifically, but Isaac Burke, one of them, he um, took an action against NUI Galway on the basis that his PhD supervision was sorely lacking and that he did not get a proper education in that respect. And Judge Raymond Gork uh, agreed with him and awarded him €13,000 in damages. So that was an early victory from that point of view. However, and there was a related case to that also concerning NUI Galway, and that involved an action by four of the siblings, Enoch, Amy, Isaac and Kezia, and that was brought to challenge a lifetime ban from membership of college societies in the university. Now, the siblings were all members of the Christian Union Society in the college, and their claim was that the ban was discriminatory under the Equal Status Act on the grounds of their religion. Judge Grork found that, yes, there were procedural issues around the ban and how it had been imposed, them, but he also said there were aggravating circumstances. And he listed some of those, and they included the siblings who failed to cooperate with an investigation, um, the, their efforts to hinder the investigation, their failure to give a truthful account, and, he said, from the bench, their fabrication of accounts and their misuse of CUS funds. Now, that was that, and then bring it forward to the pandemic, and we'll all remember the daily um, press conferences that were held by Tony Houlihan and his colleagues in the HSE. And la- I think it was in late 2020, um, Jemima Burke, another, another of the family, she had very robust exchanges with Tony Houlihan at one of those press conferences. Her question was described as intemperate, and a video of the exchanges went viral. So they came very much to prominence in relation to that. Now, then, finally, before Enoch's latest um, issues with the court. There was Amy Burke, who was a solicitor. She was employed by leading law firm Arthur Cox in Dublin. And between one thing and another, she was dismissed. There was interpersonal issues and there were some issues that were brought to various forms within the practice and ultimately it led to her dismissal. She brought an action against that to the Workplace Relations Commission. Now, at the outset of that hearing, she objected to the adjudicating officer because she said he had connections to Arthur Cox's counsel. In any event, the hearing continued, but it was repeatedly interrupted, first of all by Amy herself and subsequently by her mother. In the end, the adjudicating officer decided that he couldn't hear the case and therefore had to throw it out because, simply because it was impossible to carry on with the public hearing. Uh, subsequent to that, Amy Burke went to the High Court over the issue and there the judge tried to turn off her microphone if she didn't stop interrupting, but that seemed to be the end of any interruptions in that affair. Those all preceded then the latest issue which is around as Orla laid out uh, mm-hmm. in a park in the school and his issues there.